makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed and Pasquale, and tonight's guest, Mr. Frank Sinatra. friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. Now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his mama, Vasco, in Italy. Dear mama mia, today I'm sending you a very important letter, and I'm writing it very slow so you shouldn't read it too fast. <laughs> mama mia, I've got a big news for you. But first, I'm going to explain to you something about America. Over here is the three ways to make a million dollars. You can make it in a business, you can get in the stock market, or you can win it on the radio. <laughs> For example, they got lots of quiz programs. Sing it to some more, root it to consciousness, or take it, I don't want it. <laughs> Anyway, now, the biggest surprise, the biggest surprise I'm going to want to tell you, I'm a just the one in the radio contest. <laughs> yeah, me, Mr. Nobody, you son of Luigi. All of us, we're just the one. It's no money, but it's something bigger. That's a free trip to New York to see Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be on his first television show. Sinatra, he's a very big singer, and he's Italian, no boy. <laughs> Sure, they got lots of Italiano boys singers in America, Mamma Mia. That's a Frank Sinatra, Pericoma. He's a Vic of the Mon and a Bing of Crosby. <laughs> but I'm a thinking, Mr. Crosby. I think Mr. Crosby's getting a little bit older because whenever he's a make a record now, he's got to use his four little boys to help him out. <laughs> but anyway, Mamma Mia, for me, best singer is a Frank Sinatra. And when I'm a heard his voice on a mystery singer contest, uh, right away I'm a send his name in a letter telling how I'm a like to go to New York and why I'm a like to go to New York. My letter was uh, picked out. And uh, Mamma Mia, when a man is announced so my name, radio is uh, get uh, so excited it's almost to blow out of the tooth. <laughs> and I'm uh, too excited so much, I'm, I'm uh, going to write to you more later. Right uh, now I'm going to go to my night school class and I uh, tell uh, my friends... America, I love you. You like a papa to me from the ocean to ocean. My goodness, where's the class tonight? Well, there's no use waiting. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basso? Yeah, he told me he'd be late. Something big came up. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Horowitz? Yeah, he's going to be absent. His wife ain't feeling so good. <laughs> Mr. Olson? He ain't coming either. His sister from Milwaukee is visiting him. <laughs> Mr. Schultz? I couldn't think up a good alibi, so here I am. <laughs> well, so just you and I are here. What? What are we waiting for? <laughs> you don't snitch on me, I wouldn't snitch on you. We can both play hooky. <laughs> Mr. Schultz. <laughs> Schmeier, Miss Colling. I was only fooling. <laughs> well, we'll never have a chance like this again. <laughs> well, I might as well begin to tell you what... Miss Colling, Miss Colling, don't mock me up, and I'm a present. Hey, where is the Horowitz and Olsen? Uh, they couldn't come. Why not? Uh, don't ask me again. I'm going to mix up the excursions. 
Mr. Basco, why are you late? Guess what, Miss Spalding? I'm won a big radio contest. Oh, so that's the big news. Yeah, I'm a guest. The mystery singer was a Frank Sinatra. And I'm wrote a letter why I'm want to go to New York. And now I'm going to get a free trip. Ah, Luigi, I'm really very happy for yeah, you. Yeah, but the best part of all, I'm going to shake hands with a Frank Sinatra. <laughs> but don't shake him too hard, Luigi. He's going to fall over. <laughs> That is not nice, Mr. Schultz. Well, when are you leaving, Mr. Basco? And what train are you taking? Who's going to meet you there? And what hotel are you going Miss to stay at? I've never seen you get a sex ride. <laughs> Say, from Frank Sinatra, what else could you expect? <laughs> Any girl gets a little anxiety oh, when Schultz, she... Oh, Mr. Schultz, stop being so absurd. Huh? As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Sinatra just happens to have a very present slinging... Bo- <laughs> a, a, a very present clinging, so... I mean, he has... Oh, Miss Spalding, are you for shimmer? <laughs> Well, I'll wait until you're all calmed down, Mr. Schultz. I'm ready. Are you? Yes. Well, Mr. Basco, you're very lucky to have won. What did you write in your letter that made the judges select you? Well, I'm a don't know, Miss Spalding. It was a very plain. I'm a just told them I'm a had no money to go to New York and how I'm a like it to go back there because as I got the statue, I'm a first to sew when I'm a come to America. Statue of Liberty. Go on, Mr. Basco. Well... I wrote that I'm only had a three hours in New York, and I would like to spend more time in a place where I'm a first felt what I was really like to be American. Ach, Luigi, when you talk like that, I could run right home and buy a new frame for my citizen paper. <laughs> <laughs> but Luigi, what does what does Pasquale say about your trip? I bet even he's excited. Well, yes, I don't know. Well, what do you mean, yes and no? Is a happy I'm a goner, yes. He wants I'm a sure to take a rose along and no. <laughs> well, have a wonderful time, Mr. Basco, and say hello to Mr. Sinatra for me. There, Mr. Schultz, did I stumble over my words then? No, Miss Spalding, but it's the first time I ever saw your ears wiggle. <laughs> Mr. Schultz. <laughs> well, well, thanks for all of your good wishes, friends. I'm going to miss you so much, but goodbye. Goodbye. Have goodbye. fun. Well, keep smiling, Louise. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Well, well. Well, look who's won a big radio contest. My own little banana nose. <laughs> Believe me, little cabbage puss, I'm gonna miss you. You really mean it, Pasquale? Luigi, if I'm no mean, I'm no sad. Anyway, Luigi, while you're away all by yourself, I don't want you to forget your good friend, Pasquale. So I'm going to give you a nice to go away present. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. That's very nice of you. And every time you look on this present, Luigi, you're going to think of me, eh? This I'm a promise to you, Pasquale. Uh, uh, what's the present, huh? My daughter, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say, my son? <laughs> I can't wait till Christmas, Papa. <laughs> Look, Luigi, remember what they say. Never look a gift the horse in the mouth. Pasquale, please, a keep your horse. <laughs> I would be very happy to see New York with you, but, but at this time, I'm going to have to spend it with Mr. Sinatra. Ooh, listen to the big shot. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mr. Swollen Ahead. I bet you never even get to see a Frank Sinatra. What are you talking about, Pasquale? I was the one in the contest, didn't I? Two, two millions of people who win a contest. You know what they do? They bring you to New York, hand you a deck of cards, and they say, here, go play Canazzo with yourself. <laughs> no, no, Pasquale, you're wrong. You want to spoil my trip. All right, all right, go. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and see Mr. Sinatra. And also, he's going to know my name. Basco. What's that got to do with it? Well, uh, Sinatra. That's also an Italiano name, huh? Shh. Luigi, don't ever bring that up, huh? 
You know, lots of people in America, they like to forget of those things. What? Sure. Take her, for instance, in Hollywood. Or take a lassie. Or I bet you he won't even admit he used to be a dog. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm going to ask you, Mr. Sinatra. Go ahead and let's see you finish. All right, we're going to drop the subject here. I'll give you a name of some friends of mine. Gene DeLuca is living this address on Mulberry Street. Are you visiting him? I give him my regards. Are you going to get a nice a home and cook the meal? I'm going to show you it's 12 times. Oh, it's a nice thank you, Pasquale. I'm going to leave a Friday. Then I'm going to be in a Mr. Gene's house on a Sunday. Good, good. And uh, Luigi, you want to think over about a Rosa. Don't even talk to her if you don't want to. Just to take her along as a baggage. Well, I thank you, Pasquale, but I'm only allowed the 150 pounds. <laughs> all right, all right, go. See what's going to happen. You know that a Sinatra record I got in my jukebox? Can I ju- that's a good night, Irene. Yes. Sinatra's going to take a one look on you. It's going to be good night, Irene, and take a Luigi with you. Goodbye. <laughs> And now Pasquale has got me worried about the trip. Well, I'm going to take it like it comes and I'll make it the best. But now I'm going to write that letter to Mr. Sinatra. Dear Mr. Sinatra, I'm Luigi Basco, who's one Mr. Singer Contest. Please don't expect it too much. I'm just a plain fella. And if you just... Uh, just to let me walk around the New York by myself. I'm going to be very happy and no cause you trouble. I'm coming to New York on October the 8th. Thanks. It would give me great pleasure to shake hands with you. But if you're too busy, that's all right, too. Thank you again. And whoever is coming to take me at the station, maybe he's no recognize me. So just to make sure, I'm going to be carrying a balloon. Uh, we've got to get down to CBS, Frank. But if you're too busy, that's all right, too. Come on, Frank. Let promotion take care of the letter. And whoever is coming to take me at the station. Now, Frank, you're not going to let that bother you, are you? Look, I'm going to pick this guy up myself. What? Pick up some jerk with a balloon? Now, look... When a man comes all the way from Chicago to spend a day with me, the least I can do is meet him. Is that okay with you? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, Frank. Say, Mary. Yes? Honey, would you take a letter? Sure. It's to Mr. Luigi Basco. You've got his address in the envelope. Mm-hmm. Dear Mr. Basco, we'll be glad to meet you at the station when your train comes in. There'll be a big crowd there, and you might miss me, so just to be sure, why, I'll be wearing a... Oh! Oh, yes, I'll be carrying a balloon. Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a thought for you mothers. When your youngsters come romping home from school and they ask for something good and tasty, open up a package of delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Children love to chew gum, and millions of them are especially fond of the lively, refreshing flavor of Wrigley Spearmint Gum. What's more, Wrigley Spearmint is a healthful, wholesome treat that won't spoil the appetite. So it's an ideal treat for a child to enjoy between meals. When you do your shopping, include a few packages of delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Let children enjoy it often. And enjoy it yourself. Now let's return to page two of Luigi Vasco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, any minute now, train is going to be in a Grand Central Station. And then I'm going to be in the New York. I'm so excited. While I'm writing these a few words, I'm a drop to my pencil a dozen of times, and a dozen of times I'm a have to make a new point there. If I'm a drop one more time, I'm a gonna be writing it with my finger. <laughs> Mr. Sinatra, he says he's gonna meet me. 
But I'm a no. I know he's just the right to be nice. He's going to send somebody else. They're going to have a balloon too. You're not going to believe this, Mamma Mia. But since I'm left to Chicago, I'm so nervous. Fifty times I've been under my seat just to test my balloon. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm going to write you more later, Mamma Mia, especially I'm going to meet him and tell you what the kind of man he is and what the Mr. Sinatra is. But right now, I'm taking my things together. And they all are falling under the floor. <laughs> oh, my balloon, I'm going to blow it up. All off. All right, mister. Sit down, please. And watch that balloon. Wonderful city. Mamma Mia, there's such a big crowd. There's so many people. Hey, where's the other fella? Oh, here's somebody with a balloon. He's running to me. I'm going to run to him. Hey, Mr. Basco. Say, hey, hello, Mr. Basco. Hello, Mr. Balloon. I mean, <laughs> I'm Frank Sinatra. Mamma Mia. Not, uh, not this. The Frank Sinatra. No, not the. Just plain Sinatra. Oh, Mr. Sinatra. Who you sent here to pick me up? What? I mean, well, I didn't expect you here because... But you ain't somebody else, so nobody else could have picked me up. <laughs> please, please, let me sit down and catch my tongue. I think it's still on a train. Sure. Here, son, here's a balloon. Yeah, me too, son. Thank you, mine too. Looking on you with a balloon, Mr. Sinatra, I am realize how silly I must look. <laughs> yeah, well, we got a big day ahead of us, Luigi. First, oh, you don't mind if I call you Luigi, do you? No, Frank. Good. You can call me... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I... Fine, we get over that one real fast. Now, first we go to your hotel and then the greatest tour you have ever had. We start at Toot Shores, from there to 21, then the Stork Club, the Copacabana, and El Morocco. How's that? Oh, that's so wonderful, Mr. Sinatra. I mean, Mr. Sinatra. I mean, Frank, I'm a, I'm a, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> You're very nice to look at. It's so good for me. But you see, well, well I'm coming here. I've got just a few days. And, well, uh, I'm, I'm like to see New York. Well, that's New York. Yeah, but, uh, well... Uh, I mean, my New York. Your New York? Yeah. Empire State the Building. Public Library. Museum of History. Aquarium Statue of Liberty. That's I mean a lot to me to see that. Then. Oh. I'm hoping you're not angry. I'm going by myself, but please, you don't have to take no, me. No, 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 no. I'm going with you. Maybe I've been seeing too much of my New York anyway. <laughs> What do you say? I mean, I might like your New York. Phew. Oh, Mamma mia. You can say that again. And we're only on the fifth floor. <laughs> fifth floor? Uh, Frank, are you promising me something? Sure, what is it? If... If ever you see me in Chicago, and my friends, they're going to ask you, if I'm going to walk to the top of the Empire State Building, will you say yes, sir? I sure will. Good, then now let's take the elevator. <laughs> well, there's the city. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm really on top of Empire State Building. I feel like I'm in an airplane, only nobody is asking me to put on the belts. <laughs> it's really something, isn't it? Just smell that fresh air. Oh, it's so good. And look at all those people down there. They look like ants. Well, don't forget, Luigi, we're 102 stories high. 102 stories? Mamma mia, what a terrible thing. What's the matter? Pity the poor janitor who's got to wash up all of the floors. <laughs> We have to be very quiet in here. This is the largest public library in the world. You should know that, Luigi. I sure is. 
Has a cover whole city block, or was a formerly crut in a reservoir, has a two million of books in a reference library, at the gallery, library for the blind, a circulation of branch, and a children's library. Huh? Sure, I'm going to learn all that in a night school. Holy cow. When I told the cab driver of the public library, I wasn't even sure where we were going. <laughs> It was a beautiful building, huh, Frank? Yes, sir. New York is a wonderful museum. We're very proud of it, too. You know something, Frank? This is the first time I'm ever seen it. You know something, Luigi? What? The... That's the first time for me, too. <laughs> Grant was born in Ohio, 18, President of the United States... And he served it two times. Hey, Frank, I'm a smart, huh? Yeah. Hey, Luigi, I'm a pretty stupid, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Get your tickets in to the Miles State Senior. Hey, Malcolm, give me two of them, will you? <laughs> Sorry for my mamma mia. Can only see me and Luigi riding in a shoot to the shoot. <laughs> Well, Frank, Frank, I'm going to want to thank you for most wonderful day in my life. Luigi, it's my turn to thank you. Wasn't the Statue of Liberty beautiful? Yes, it was, and I'm glad I got to see it with you. Huh? Frank, I'm, I'm going to like to ask you a question. You're not going to get mad? Well, of course not. What is it? Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to like to... Ask you, what do you want? What? Oh. Oh, I know what you mean. Well, I've been called a singer, I guess. I'm a singer. No, no, no. I don't mean that. I mean Sinatra. The name. Oh, I'm American. Why? Nothing. That's nothing. American. That's the perfect answer. Well, I'm going to go now. And thanks again. Sure. Good night, old pal. Huh? Good night, Tola Pal. <laughs> well, Mamma Mia, I'm had a wonderful time with a wonderful boy. And I'm even got to ask him my question. And he's given me the answer all right. And I was to think about it all night. All the night. Even in the morning when I got up, I was... Uh... Hello? Luigi, it's Frank. Hey. Oh. oh, I'm glad to hear you. Say, uh, I don't have very much to do today. You want to do it with me? Well, sure. <laughs> sure, I'm going to do Oh, wait. Wait, but first... Uh... First, I'm going to see friends on the Mulberry Street, and I don't think you like it. Don't say another word. I'll pick you up in ten minutes, and we'll go there together. You sure you, you want to come inside with me? Of course I do. Who do you think I am? I come from a neighborhood like this. Come on, ring the bell. All right, okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, Gina DeLuca? Sure. My name is... I know, I know. Luigi Bosco. <laughs> come in, come in. I know all about you. I call my wife. I got wonderful things prepared for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, Gina, I want you to meet my friend. He's a Frank Sinatra. Huh? Uh, Luigi, don't kid with an old man. No, yeah, sure. That's a Frank Sinatra. Hello, how are you? Come on now, fellas. Sonata, he's supposed to be thin, a skinny fella. <laughs> hey, what do you know? It's really Frank Sonata. <laughs> Shut up, that's what I'm telling you. Well, Mr. Sonata, please sit down, sit down. Well, there's no use holding back the surprise as long as Mr. Sonata's here. Surprise, Gina, what do you mean? I'm the surprise. <laughs> 
too many for me. Mamma mia, Pasquale. Hey, you come all the way from Chicago. Sure, Luigi. I thought you was going to be lonely. But I guess I'm going to necessary. Not even the other surprise I'm a brother. Are you going to mean that? That's uh, just what I mean. Well, I call her in anyway. Rosa! 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 You can't be done! Pigeon, Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> I love Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Now, Rosa, say hello to Frank Sinatra. Hello, Frenchie. <laughs> hello, Rosa. Ooh. What's the matter? Well, that's all right, Rosa. We'll pass out together. I never saw anybody as big as you. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, everybody. Look. Look down the floor of the Mrs. Lucas are putting on a table. Oh, Gilly, we eat. Rosa, don't grab a purse. Hey, Gina, come on. I'm making with you a call. Yeah, sure, Gina, okay, play. Yeah, but I'm a little bit ashamed. No, no, come oh, on. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 Quanto sono aperto per te, fa ma dormi, abbraccia tu un poco cute, a mari, a mari. Quando sono che penso per te, fa ma dormi, we mari, we mari. Frank, Frank, you're too wonderful to me. Two best days of my life. And now you ask me to share this wonderful hotel room with you. Think nothing of it, Luigi. Gosh, I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Mamma mia, what a beautiful place. Yeah, it's beautiful, all right. Well, I'm going to turn in. This is your room, Luigi. Uh, thanks, Frank. I'm going to turn in it too. See you in the morning, huh? Yes, sir. Hey, Luigi. <laughs> what, uh... Arrivederci. Huh? I said arrivederci. Arrivederci. <laughs> and a grazie per tutti. Prego. <laughs> Tell me, you feel good, Luigi? Yeah, I feel good. Feel good, really good. Yeah, me too. Good night, old pal. Good night, old pal. <laughs> Folks, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they'd like to remind you that a little stick of Wrigley Spearmint Gum can be a real help to you when you're working at a job or around your home. The smooth, easy chewing is a natural, pleasant outlet for pent-up nervous tension. Helps keep you from feeling restless. As a result, you feel and work better. So enjoy chewing delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum right while you work. It tastes good, and it helps to make your work go along smoother and easier. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.